Hey guys, on this episode of the Redeemed Marriage Podcast, we're going to be talking about the year 2021 and Happy New Year's and New Year's resolutions and all the stuff that you can do to make yourself the best version of you this year, including your marriage. So stick around. Hey, I'm Rusty. And I'm Heather. We're the Bryants with Three Strands Marriage Ministry, and this is the Redeemed Marriage Video Podcast. We are here to encourage healthy marriages, strengthen wounded marriages, and begin the process of restoration to broken marriages. We're not licensed counselors. However, we are a redeemed couple that loves the Lord and wants to help you journey through this messy, challenging, and fun part of life called marriage. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Redeemed Marriage Podcast. And it's kind of been a little while. It's been a while. Um, The reason why, we were just talking about how we uh, pulled off somehow the 12 days of questions. Even though one of them was in the car. One of them was in the car Mm -hmm. on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. Then we did a Christmas day. Uh (laughs) And 12 days during the holidays was quite a uh, chore. Yep. But we pulled it off. We did. And so then um, we basically have taken like two weeks Mm -hmm. off to sort of get past the holidays. Um, A lot has happened in two weeks, Mm -hmm. though. We we got rid of a kid, Mm -hmm. sent a kid back to college. (laughs) Sad. Um, And a lot's been going on in the world. All the politics and just the and the virus is not Mm -hmm. slowing down. So it's just been a lot. But. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're not going to talk about that because... December day 384. Is that what it is? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Just made it up. Okay, so anyway, (laughs) we're going to talk though, and we're going to look expectantly. That's what we're going to do. So instead of all the negative stuff going Mm -hmm. on in the world right now, we want to just look at... 2020, 2021 being positive. That's right. And, you know, even if things are not so great around us, mm-hmm. um, I think that we can be doing things to make ourselves better and to make our marriages better. Yep. And so, even our pastor said last week, even if 2021 doesn't look different, we can look different. Yep. Mm-hmm. And that's good. Yeah. So, so, you know, the natural thing to do during the a new year is to set new year's resolutions mm-hmm. and i'm not really a big fan of that word resolutions i'm not real i'm not a huge fan of new year's resolutions so to speak i've had i mean throughout the years i've had some years where i've actually written down mm-hmm. and i've done really good and then you know there's some where you just kind of like you know this year i'm gonna do this better mm-hmm. and then you know a week later you just mm-hmm. but there is some and maybe it's because i'm a teacher but there is something about a fresh start oh, i feel yeah. like it's a new school year you know and fresh pencils and you turn the page of that yep. um book and there's something exciting about that to me yep. um but i'm but i agree with you on the word resolution part yep. like but yep. i love a fresh start well so when i have done this before where you know where there's been like these you you go through categories of your life. Like I know um, one of the podcasts I listen to, they always encourage you these seven areas of your life that you should make sort of a plan for all mm-hmm. seven areas. And that's a lot. That's a I lot. mean, seven areas. And and I remember one year I actually took those seven areas and I put like one, two, or three different kind of goals for the year in those mm-hmm. areas. And I mean, it was just, it was a lot. It was a and lot. and mm-hmm. I'm even really a planner like that. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I just kind of felt like... Maybe we need to simplify this a yep. little bit. And so it before the turn of the calendar, um, <laughs> this I, is a true story. I started thinking back to our uh, marriage intensive. Mm-hmm. And during our marriage intensive, one of the things that they had us do was to actually take a self-care test. Yep. And basically the whole thing revolved around Luke 2.52. And Luke 2.52, it says, Jesus increased in wisdom, stature, and favor with God, and favor with man. And the thing that's so cool about that verse is there's, you know, there's the birth of Jesus, and then it skips ahead to when he was 12 years old and he got lost in the temple. 
Um, his parents left him mm-hmm. behind in the temple for a few days and had to go back and get him. And then there's nothing for mm-hmm. until he starts his ministry at roughly the age of 28, 29, mm-hmm. 30, somewhere in there. So there's nothing, and that is the only verse. Like, that verse that tells works. us the only thing that happens through almost 20 years, two decades of Jesus' mm-hmm. life. It just says, Jesus grew in wisdom, stature, in favor with God, in favor with man. And so at our intensive, they actually took that, um, that verse and those four areas, and they told us to give ourselves a grade. Mm-hmm. Um, so anywhere from 1 to 25, so you end up with 100 because there's four different areas. And it was basically, we were supposed to grade ourselves on how well we were doing mentally, uh, which was the wisdom part of it, mm-hmm. and then physically, which was the um, the stature part, mm-hmm. and then favor with God, which was the spiritual part of it, mm-hmm. and then favor with man, um, which is the relational part of it. Yep. And our, our dog wants to be on the video too. Yeah, well, it's because the mailman's out there. Yeah, and that's really weird because mm-hmm. it's Sunday mm-hmm. and the mailman <laughs> is in our driveway <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, anyway, anyways, so uh, so those four areas, and you're and we were supposed to give ourselves a grade on how well we were doing self care mm-hmm. um, in those four areas, and so you get a you get a total of a hundred, and you can kind of see how you are and where you need to to go Mm -hmm. and it also allowed us the opportunity to kind of make a plan for if you weren't doing so well in one of those areas what are some things that you can do to make yourself you know a better version of yourself in those areas right and so um so i started talking to our family Mm -hmm. about that and we actually were on a walk one day and we talked about it and we just talked about how that was the only thing that we knew about jesus um, during that time period, and it, hey, if it was good enough for Jesus to grow right. in those four areas, then it's good <laughs> enough for us to grow in those four areas. And so, I challenged my family to make some goals, some New Year's resolutions, if you will, in each one of those four areas. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, well, before that, I challenged my small group with it. Oh. I texted my, I um, lead the um, junior and senior girls, and I texted them and said, hey, um, Rusty challenged our family with this, and I wanted to challenge you with this. So you look smart, too. I gave you credit. Well, so then we show up for the first Sunday of church, mm-hmm. and our pastor yeah. throws out that the next four weeks he was going to be talking about Luke 2.52 and setting a growth plan yep. in each one of those four areas. True story. And uh, both of my boys were doing this, mm-hmm. looking at me. All of a sudden, they thought I was smart. <laughs> I've been trying to tell them for years. Yep. And mm-hmm. they, it mm-hmm. just clicked like that. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so today... Love language. You're so smart. <laughs> So today, we just want to quickly just, uh, I guess, just kind of go over each one of those four areas Mm -hmm. just real quickly, but give you just some things to think about, and hopefully it will help and challenge you to become the best version of you. Because we believe, just like we've said on other podcasts, the best version of you is what makes the best version of your marriage, because you have to be taking care of yourself in order to take care of your marriage. And so... Uh, so this is a great time to start that. Yep. Uh, so the first one is wisdom. Jesus grew yep. in wisdom. And there's a lot of different things that w- you can kind of think about with that. But uh, where our pastor actually went with that was learning to grow in godly wisdom. And, you know, there's we're going we're gonna to talk more about the spiritual side and growing mm-hmm. in relationship with God and the, the third thing. But, you know, for me, this one is... is you know, just to simplify it a little bit, is really just kind of challenging and growing uh, mentally. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and I think a lot of times where we get stuck is we waste a lot of time with like mindless mm-hmm. things like scrolling on our phones and, you know, going through social media and stuff when we really need to make sure that we're taking time to learn, like mm-hmm. like we're just always growing in wisdom, like our, our we're stimulating our minds. And so... 
you know, I mean, it could be that you challenge yourself to read some nonfiction books Mm -hmm. um, so that you're learning something. It could be that you want to learn something new. Um, Like I know uh, during the quarantine, I started doing woodworking Mm -hmm. and I had no idea what I was doing. And now I really like it. Mm -hmm. But it's it's challenged me, you know, to step out and kind of learn a new hobby. Mm -hmm. Um, And so there's a lot of different, I mean, even something as small as, you know, committing yourself to, you know, spending more time with your children when they're doing their homework, because Mm -hmm. that even in itself is stimulating your mind. It's helping you to relearn some things. Mm And, um, and so, you know, all those things are good, but it's just, it's just being very intentional about growing in knowledge. Um, and not just wasting your time, but like Mm -hmm. learn new things, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, so I don't know. Did you? Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with that. And, you know, I, have a tendency to love to read just all fiction books, but to read something that's challenging, Mm -hmm. Um, whether it's, you know, learning something new or a spiritual, um, something that tackles something that you're interested in or need more information about. Yeah. So. So I think, you know, uh, just to make it really simple, it'd be great if you just picked one thing Mm -hmm. like, hey, this year and like make it something specific. So it's not just like, I'm going to challenge my mind this year. What does that mean? You know, like, like choose one thing Mm -hmm. and maybe even write that thing down. Um, You know, I'm going to read, you know, three nonfiction books Mm -hmm. this year. I Mm -hmm. I don't know what it, what it might be for you, but just something Mm -hmm. that's going to challenge you. And then the second thing, Jesus grew in stature. Uh, That's actually what our pastor talked about today um, in his sermon. And so it this is the physical part because our bodies so are a temple um mm-hmm. our bodies are a tool mm-hmm. for uh for god to use mm-hmm. and our bodies are a tent they're mm-hmm. temporary mm-hmm. until we get to our eternal home and so yeah. um so what are you doing to take care of that and wow i mean i like we could talk about this forever right. but there's no reason to mm-hmm. because people know exactly what we're talking that's about right. it's that's like right. and they can go back and listen to his sermon it could <laughs> it could go back and listen to that uh so but i think that it's just making sure that we are we are taking care of our bodies we're um we're eating right that's right we're exercising mm-hmm. i mean number one and number two i mean those are the two and sleep and and rest that's right Mm -hmm. um but but those things if you can if you can make some goals of how you're going to do that better this year and then there's the obvious side of things too like that you're not putting things into your bodies Mm and you know that's going to cause addictions and harm Mm -hmm. to your body i mean that that you know i think that's very obvious but people struggle with that. Um, I think even just the whole, you know, treating, treating your body as a pure and holy temple. So nothing sexually immoral, um, which I mean, obviously is in a marriage. I mean, that's so important. Uh, but, but just making sure that you're really doing the things that take care of your body so that you're growing in stature. That's right. Because the things you put in your body or do to your body are either making you more healthy or they're not. Yep. Like there's no in between. Mm-hmm. So yeah, challenge yourself, you know, make mm-hmm. one or two goals, you know, maybe it's a food goal, an exercise goal, uh, something that's going to that's gonna help you to grow um, right. in, your, in your physical stature. Sure. Um, so the next part of the verse, you talked about um, wisdom and stature. And then the next part of Luke 2.52 is... Um, growing in favor with God, mm-hmm. and it says with fa- um, in favor with God and man. So in favor with God, and then in favor with man. And these are probably the two um, that I had to do a little bit of digging in because I'm like, exactly what does that mean? Growing in favor with God, and it just means your spiritual um, walk with Him. Um, and you know, there's lots of things um, that we can do to help ourselves and to set goals for. Um, spending time with the Lord, but, you know, just some obvious ones are making time to read the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Like, so important. Number one thing, because that book was not just written for people thousands of years ago. It is written for us today in this moment um, and has all the answers um, that we need. So getting to know um, the Word of God, Um, spending time in prayer, Mm -hmm. you know, finding time to be still before the Lord. Um, but I have, I have to, for me personally, I have to make, um, goals of, 
I'm going to do this, this, and this. And to me, and I think um, something that is a very good practice to do is memorizing scripture. Um, you know, just memorizing a verse at a time. Like I don't memorize more than a verse a week. Mm. Memorize a verse during that week and you think, oh, I got this verse on Monday or Tuesday. But taking that verse all week long and saying, God, what are you trying to teach me today through this verse? How can I apply this verse to my life? Um, And I love to memorize passages because they flow together really well. So like right now, I'm memorizing Psalm 34. Um, I've memorized Psalm 139. If you've never memorized scripture before and need somewhere to start, that's an amazing one. But just taking those verses and, um, and applying them to your life. So memorizing scripture, reading the Bible, Um, praying Mm -hmm. and um, just being purposeful in those things Um, and you know maybe even getting a mentor we've talked about that before getting a mentor these are just some ideas that um, that you can have um, to help in your growing in favor with God deepening your relationship um, with him and then the last one is um, favor with man so those are your relationships and those are relationships with the people that you work with, um, the people in your family. Um, of course, the people in your family come first, and then the people that you work with and your friends, um, people that you do life with. Um, and I, I think the biggest thing for me, and since we're doing a marriage podcast, it's how can you grow in favor with your spouse and things that you can do to help your marriage and some of the things we've talked about in our previous um, videos on things you can do to help um, your relationship grow. Um, you know, of course, you have to focus on yourself and not try to fix your spouse, but focus on becoming the godly man or godly woman um, that you know you're supposed to be and that that other person um, deserves. Um, and then also, like you said, with the self care, making sure that your part. Um, of the marriage um, you're working towards. But just also, gosh, there's so many in this area, like with love languages, Mm -hmm. loving your spouse well, the way they need to be um, loved and not necessarily the way that you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. So what, you have anything you want to add to that? No, I mean, obviously that one is one that every time we do a podcast, Mm -hmm. we're talking about, (laughs) about, you know, the favor with man or just the relationships. And so, you know, I think it's just if you're if we're just sticking to, hey, what what you know, what is one thing that I really want to set as my goal? Mm-hmm. And maybe that's what it is. And in, in, even in your marriage that you're just trying to think of. All right. I just I just need to say, you know, this is the one thing that this year I am going to do mm-hmm. a better job. This is my plan. This is my growth plan um, mm-hmm. in this area. And so um, I like that our pastor has been using that word, the growth mm-hmm. plan. And so you know, yeah. what is your growth plan for your marriage? And mm-hmm. maybe it doesn't need to be one thing. Maybe it needs to be two or three or four. But, you know, just to not get yourself overwhelmed with, well, I did one good, but I didn't mm-hmm. do three, four, mm-hmm. five, and six good. You know, Well, and if it's one thing, it could be putting your spouse before yourself, mm-hmm. putting your spouse's needs before your own. Yeah, yeah, that's I good. think that's a, um, that's a, it's a broad one, but it's an easy one to um, put feet to. Yeah. So I think, you know, obviously this was not 100% talking about marriage today, Mm -hmm. but we talk so much, too, about how self-care is so important. And, like, Mm -hmm. you have to take care of yourself in order to be the best version of yourself for your spouse Mm -hmm. and for your marriage. And so um, as you go into 2021, you know, think about these four areas that Jesus grew in. And at the same time, you figure out Mm -hmm. how you can grow in each one of those four areas. And Um, You know, I think that if we all do that, then 2021 can be a better year and can be a productive year and a year of growth. And that you look back and say, that was a year that my marriage changed for the better. Yeah. And so January is a great time to do that. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, it's hitting the reset button. It's starting over. Fresh page. Fresh fresh page. So... um, So yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully you will share this, you will like this, you will comment on this and let us know if there's anything we can do to help. And we'll be back next Sunday. Till next time. See you later.